Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to the Calm Before the Storm mod for Hearts of Iron 4. I'm your host, Mr. America Lover, but right now, Stanley retires. Admiral William H. Stanley has served as Chief of Naval Operations since he replaced William V. Pratt in 33, but his time is up. President FDR has decided to replace him with Admiral D. Uh, William D. Leahy. 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 Lay. I don't know how to say that word, but anyways, so right now as you can see, we're doing the anti-espionage treaty. I actually looked this up yesterday. What did we do historically between us, the USA, and the USSR? Um, we did not demand their debts. I did check it up. Uh, apparently we postponed this in the 30s till later on, so we're doing the anti-espionage treaty. If you want to do about that again, please go right ahead. But right now, what are we going to do? That's a good question to ask, because it is quite literally a day before uh 1937 so the soviets accept though good news the ussr accepted our anti-espionage proposal and we can work to strengthen our relations with them in our internal security nice a new chief of the air corps benjamin faux Luis is dead politically so we must choose a new chief of the air corps okay he's dead politically all right whatever a national youth administration is not a bad thing to do um yeah we'll see what happens over there and just a wee bit New aircraft designs? How about that? New engine and aircraft models will need to be researched and adopted to improve our air force. Why can't we this one? Always false. So we just have to wait for that one. So, so for us, because we got through most of the a lot of the legislative crap earlier in the last episode, which drove me up a wall a little bit, but whatever. Now we can focus on doing more stuff and get more uh, house and senate support. A new chief of the air corps. Benjamin Felice is retired due to his inability to perform the mailing duties we've assigned at the Corps, and now we must choose a new chief of the Air Force Corps. Our staff has narrowed the choice down between two people, Henry Conger Pratt and Oscar Westover. Pratt seems to have the best credentials for the job, however, he was a close associate of Felice, and appointing him would be a politically costly move. Alternatively, we could just appoint Oscar Westover, who is less adequate for the job, as a clean political history. Uh, I'm going to choose him because I don't want to ha have a politically messy situation, but modern bombers. Recent technical innovations will allow us to be more competitive on the construction and research of new bomber models. Absolutely. Inauguration day. After two months after the election, Chief Justice uh, uh, Charles Evans Hughes has sworn in FDR, the previous president and winner of the election as president. This is the first inauguration that happens on January 20th, as per the 20th Amendment passed three years ago. Roosevelt will likely try to continue the New Deal and tackle the growing problems that the Supreme Court poses for this legislation. Let's get back to work. Begin second term with a new focus tree. Oh, wow. Get 200 more political power. That's pretty nice. Oh, we can get... Medium tanks? Heck yeah. Heck yeah, buddy. Actually, how close are we with this one? Uh, actually, let's do that one first. Let's do the next one. Does that do... Does that... Okay, that changed everything. Holy crap, that really did change everything. Um, is that a good thing to do? Well... Alright. Those that re-elected will do this one, I guess. As expected, FDR managed to win re-election. His new deal has proved decisive to fix America's economy. And now, one again, we can expand it even further. Alright, pack the court. I think, didn't he want to pack the court? I think we had to obey the Supreme Court. I think he tried to do that before. Tried to do that? I don't know. FDR. There's some people who love him. There are other people who don't love him, so. Well, I guess we continue the New Deal. That looks pretty good. Um, eradicate slums. Fight the new recession. Secure funding for our agencies. Uh, Revaluate our foreign policy would probably be good to do as well. Repeal the Neutrality Act. Yeah, that's definitely not historical, I'm pretty sure. Time to get involved. Yeah, definitely not. Definitely, definitely, definitely not. It's Neutrality Act of 37. Yeah. Um, so we're going to do that one, but let's go and continue the New Deal first. American economy is not fixed yet. We've been re-elected with a new new, 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 new deal platform. Let us continue to fix it. The, fi the economy and deliver campaign promises. All right, so what do we have here? We can lobby for stuff. Anything else we really care about? Resource prospects and stuff like that? Not really. Artillery, motorized, Marmon, uh, Har Harrington. Tank assembly plant. That's not bad. We'll have to wait a little bit for that stuff, though. Manufacturers would not be bad. Douglas Aircraft Company, not bad either, not bad. Hmm, that's not terrible. More capital ship attack. Way more research speed. I do like that, but let's get some more lobbying going. We need more house support, so I'll just do that one immediately. And eradicate slums. Slum proliferation will be gone. Uh, what is slum proliferation? Oh, that's pretty bad. I'll do that one next. Yeah. It's time to pass a comprehensive housing act that ends the slums problem gives every American a home for his family. Probably good. Well, 49 day focus. Holy crap, that's a long time. And we still have 36 divisions. Not bad, even though a lot of these divisions are just not very good. These garrison brigades, just so bad. If you replace the garrison with infantry, you get more breakthroughs, slightly more attack, less supply consumption, less suppression HP, but... Eh, actually, they're, not as, they're, they're a little more comparable than I thought they were, but garrisons are just not as good. They're straight up not as good. 0.27 is better than nothing, though. And it looks like the Nationals are winning in, uh... uh I'm gonna say America, but no, it's not America. That's, uh... It's not America. We yeah, eradicate the slams. Slams? Slums. After that one, buy the new recession, reorganize the administration, 
Let's go and reevaluate our foreign policy. A new term begins, and we should re-examine our foreign policy and think if we should change anything about our diplomatic strategy. Pass the UNLOMO law. Oh. I think it was maintain diplomatic flexibilities. I think the one we should do, maybe? The quarantine speech. Care, cash and carry. Arsenal democracy. Tiller upgrade's pretty nice, too. Maintain good neighbor, of course. No enemies, no danger. Withdraw from the Philippines. We trade with Britain. Trade with... Business first. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not the way we're going to go. The Lunlo... I've never... I don't remember that one. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Uh, it is 37, of course. Anything different? I don't remember this... Um, the research here very well. So, yeah, I don't exactly remember anything perfectly here. Honestly. Mm, major divisions. 18. Oh, we do have National Guards, too. Uh, ooh. Let's become all National Guard divisions, maybe. You all do the same. Screw the cavalry. Oh, except for you. Uh, go back to the tank division. You know what? Two tank divisions. And LRA found constitutional. Finally, some good news comes from the Supreme Court. As a National Labor Board Relations Act, as a found constitutional in the National Labor Relations Board v. Jones and Laughlin Steel Corporation case. It all began when the board ordered Jones and Laughlin Steel to rehire workers that were fired because of unionizing. Jones and Laughlin Steel appealed to the Supreme Court deeming the NLRA is unconstitutional, but they've been defeated in five part both. The changes are inter in the interpretation of the Commerce Clause could also favor us in the future. Phew! Rail electrification, dockyards, Get more stability. Stability would be nice. Uh, I don't want to lose too much support, though. Agricultural Marketing Act. It's not bad. That's pretty good. Marijuana Act. Oh, look at that. Tax Act. Cancer Institute. Mm, I do like this one. And do both. Do, just do all that. We're going to lose quite a bit of political power. That's all right. All right, get them slums. Let's get more political power. And we'll do a revalued foreign policy. And then Neutrality Act of 37. To appease the isolationists, we shall pass a new Neutrality Act, extending the weapons sales embargo to civil wars. I am more than certain this is the way... Yeah, we did not repeal this stuff early, early on, so... Nice. Oh, can we not do this one? Oh. Oh, we don't have enough support for that, so... Yeah, but Lunlo... Yeah, now we need at least more support. Let's maintain diplomatic flexibility. We can't continue isolationist policies. We shall support status quo and do what we can to strengthen our position abroad without upsetting isolationists. Story for bases. Yeah, there's a historical one there for you. Minus point four five four. Hmm. Any more hot support? Some more sand support? You do you have a cup of coffee? But the opening of the Golden Gate. Today, the Golden Gate Bridge finally opened to pedestrian traffic. With vehicles expected to cross the bridge tomorrow. Construction on the bridge began at 33 and it cost 35 million dollars. However, it's currently the largest suspended bridge in the world and it surely helps to improve the lives and the inhabitants of San Francisco. Cross the bridge? Oh, you betcha. Get some mobile defense, that'd be great, great, great. We have a little bit of manpower too, cool. Oh, well, of course we did change our stuff here. We we'll continue to neutrality policy. Oh, you bet we do. Diplomatic flexibility, very, very good. And as much as we want to pack the court. Oh god. Uh, obey the Supreme Court. We may not like it, but the Supreme Court has to be obeyed. We shall wait till one of its members retires so they stop torpedoing our laws. Or we can just call an assassination, which probably wouldn't be very good for FDR, but there, there, there's options. There are options. Keep building ourselves up, because we're going to need to build up ourselves quite a bit. And get some more research done in about a month or so. Oh, secure. Oh. Nice. Secure funding for the agencies. Oh, that's not bad. Uh, protect the farmers. Abandon fiscal conservatism. Loans to private industries. Protect the workers. Uh, begin to mobilize the economy. Ooh. Yeah, that's going to be bad to do. I guess we'll secure funding for agencies next. We managed to set up a lot of agencies during the first term. Now we have to... Secure to continue funding for them in Congress. It won't be easy, but, you know, it's a, it's a job that we're going to have to do. About the new recession. Uh, well, the recession hasn't happened yet. Give us a little bit of time. We're going to cause another recession. It's all right. It happens. Casually just happens. Uh, Marco Polo Bridge incident. Oh, Chinese United Front. Very nice, very nice. Merchant Marine. Stability would be nice. But let's get some more cities first. Roberts, Robinson Patman Act. Actually, no, we don't do that. we got to make sure we have this first. We ha let's get this one done, because we're going to lose support anyway. So We cannot pass another act until that one's done. This is my opinion for now. Uh, fuel gain. I guess, uh... Eh, fuel capacity, why now? We can always get more, more stuff here. Oh, she disappears. A tragic day for aviation. Uh, oh, God. Uh, the famous pilot Amelia Earhart disappeared while she was attempting to become the first woman to fly around the world. Amelia Earhart was a record-breaking woman, becoming, for example, the first female to fly solo across the Atlantic. A sad loss. 
new recession while the economy remained in a continuous upward trend in the last four years. The economy has entered into a recession cycle again. While we still don't know the causes, we must be prepared for it and mitigate it before it turns into something more serious. But we're progressing so much. Oh, it sucks, bro. It sucks. That uh, do be sucking. Um, I don't know if we'll actually be able to get that. I don't know if we want to actually get that one before we, you know, the next step, so. I'll well, see what happens. Enter war medium tanks are nice. We need so many more things. Unemployment increases in the manufacturing sector. Bad news, unemployment has remained going down since we took office, but the recession has caused workers in the manufacturing sector to be laid off, increasing unemployment again. Although it remains smaller than 33, we must tackle it soon. Bro, that sucks. But it could be a lot worse. Come on, just get it done first. Manufacturing output fall. Uh, bad, bad news continues to arrive as manufacturing output has fallen to open 37% as in 1934. This has had a cascading effect through the economy with personal income lowering, leading to less consumption and further reductions of manufacturing output. We have to take action now. There you go, now we can tackle this stuff. Alright, fight the new recession. 1937 has come with a new economic recession that threatens all progress we made in the first term. We have to fight it decisively before it becomes a bigger problem. Alright, so now let's go and do what? I want them civvies. Political power would be nice too. Oh, Housing Act. Slum proliferation. We still have slum proliferation? Oh. There you go. Uh, there you go. Here. Keep losing more political power. 47 is not bad. 212, uh, that's not terrible either. Uh, we want to do anything here. I want to wait till we get some more stuff done. You know, this would not be bad. More armor. I like the armor. Heart attack is okay. Light man tank manufacturer is not bad. More speed is always nice. I want more fighter benefits. I love cast so much, but... Naval Bombers. We'll be using this quite a bit, too. Honestly, reliability and range is not bad to get. Well, we do that. What is this one? Eh. More armor, less defense now. It's not worth it. Go with that one, because we could use that one. Protect the farmers. Uh, oh, fuel capacity is very nice. More oil gain. Let's see. Abandon fiscal conservatism. We don't have the support for it just yet, but we could probably do it anyways. We could ba abandon it. New towns require new policies. We cannot stick with no debt policy that we've been supporting. It's time to allow some deficit in the federal budget. Congress won't like that, though. Who cares about Congress? Do we care about Congress? Are we supposed to care about Congress? I don't know. Actually, we probably do know, but I don't care right now. Go and train. Or uh, go home and stop training and come back later. Ah, uh, oh, the Spanish state one, huh? Oh, there was something there. I clicked on it too fast. Good job, Francisco Franco. Can we see any volunteers? God dang it. Chiang Kai-shek. State of Manchuria. Empire of Japan. Oh, we have some comments to go through as well, so. Yeah. But Army Minister of Mediation versus Army Minister of Mediation. Huh. Interesting. Alright. Improve machine tools. Get some extraction. Thank you very much. Uh, protect the farmers or loans of private industry. Let's protect the farmers first because that might give us some help. Supreme Court had the stupid idea of killing the Agriculture Adjustments Act. No find all progress we made in that field. Doesn't matter. We'll just pass another one. Alrighty. Let's see. Let's get that uh, stability. Yeah, stability would be nice. Mechana. Political power would be nice too. Oh, we actually get some support too. Neutrality Act. And get some more political power. Never doctors can wait a little bit. Stability, yes, please. Recon Company 2 is very nice. Very nice. It's only 37, of course. Get some military police because we're going to need that eventually. We've actually done a lot of this stuff, which is actually really nice. Um, I would like to get more support here, too, though, so. Uh, get the political power and then just do it. There you go. We just literally just get the political power to get more support. Oh, wait. Oh, crap. We can't do that. Oh, my bad. My bad. Protect the farmers. Screw it. My bad. I should not have done that. That's my fault. Oh, well. Whatever. It is what it is. But we got a cup of coffee here to keep us nice and warm. That's all that matters. After this, we can do all this stuff too. Maintain the good neighbor policy. The quarantine speech. Circumnavigate the neutrality act. Support Republican Spain. Well, it's a little late. So if you worry about that one, please go ahead. Sanction Italy. Mm, help. Oh, yeah, we're doing help China. Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. The revolution arrived today. The cin cinemas with the Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. That's the first animated cartoon film in sound with color. An artistic revolution that might enter change entertainment forever. And propel its creator Walt Disney to glory. I guess I'm too old to watch it. Nah, no, not really. Walls of water and steel, huh? That's not bad. That's pretty good. Defense first. That's pretty good. Fortress USA. Wow. 
40% more land for and close to for construction. Holy crud. That's kind of impressive, not gonna lie. How are the planes doing too? Because we are making a few planes as well. Uh, they, do, they do be doing okay. Obviously, we need more stuff here, but whatever. Um, oh, we can get promote at George's Patton? Yeah, why not? Do what the Eisenhower? Wainwright eventually too? Protect the farmers? Alright. Can we do that again? My bad. Protect the workers? Eh, let's wait. If you're fine. Quarantine speech. We have to call for an international quarantine on aggressive nations on the endemic epidemic of world lawlessness so that everyone knows where we stand. Yeah, let's get that. We'll definitely build some more of those things as time goes on. So now we should have more than enough support once we get this one done. My bad. I should have not uh, been real fun loving with all the stuff we could do. 52 is not bad. Yeah. Now we'll go back and do that one. We're going to ban fiscal conservatives and fiscal conservatism, even though social. Well, there's a lot of social liberals and social conservatives support us as well, which is weird, but whatever. Um, yeah, I'll do this one next. Protect the workers. Last, uh, actually, you know what? I don't want to do that one yet. I want to do the stuff about China. China. And the military, well. Oh, well. Help the French. Uh, circumnavigate. Or circumvent the Neutrality Acts. We have to be more clever than the Neutrality Acts and the Isolationists. With intelligence, we can support these nations and those nations we want to win their wars without violating the Acts. Very good. Keep building, 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 building. Queen. I don't think anything here is going to give us more support, so. Hmm. Oh, we don't have enough. God dang it. Well, hey, we get point. So point. 0 0.05, so that's not bad. Get more house, get more support. We could always use more support. We can always use more support, right? Always. So how's the war in China going? Oh my god, China, you are a gigantic mess. Holy crap. But maybe we'll place them. If you're a military for the fatherland? Well, maybe not. Maybe they don't have a unique focus tree. Darn it. Maybe not. Okay, then. State of Manchuria? Imperial Taz? Yeah, they definitely got a unique focus tree, I think. No, never mind. No, we to buy fighters? Uh, if you're wondering about that, please go right ahead. We don't have anything to offer the Norwegians. What? what? Eh. Uh. Alright. Ban fiscal conservatism. Circumnavigate the Trip Neutrality Acts. Help China. The Chinese are suffering an imperialist and unlawful invasion from the aggressive empire of Japan. This is completely legal and will not stand. Here, do that one too. Yeah, we lost support again. God dang it. Ah. Parliament. Congress. Whatever people want to call it. Democracy? Oh, man. Like some comments. Someone says we should play as the USSR. Actually, I would love to. You know, I should. I really should, especially before, at the time of this recording, this is before when no, was it, not to step back, no step back, uh, is out. So, yeah, I should actually play this nation before we get to there. Actually, that's a really good idea. Yeah, you know what? Maybe I will. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Help China. Uh, probably want to sanction Italy as well. It's a 20-day focus. But Italy thought that their invasion of Ethiopia would go unpunished. We shall ban any kind of sales to them so they learn their lesson. Revising Neutrality Acts. Cash and carry focus. What's cash and carry? Uh oh. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Actually, that's one first. The state of the world won't allow us to continue our neutrality policy. We'll have to pass a new Neutrality Act that allows us to sell weapons to nations of war. <laughs> Alright, well, going back on our word, but, you know, we're America. Welcome. I should we do some atomic research as well. After that one, we'll keep working on some other stuff. Uh, 0.5 ain't too bad, though. And, okay, so before we do anything else, as much as I want to help China, and I wanted to revise the Neutrality Acts, do we need any support here? Protect the workers, do we need any support here, too? Oh, he has more than 30% world tension here, too. Oh, okay. Oh, reorganize the administration. Yeah, let's do that one. Now that we've been reelected, we can be more ambitious than simply focusing on economics. Our administration could use a reform, so let's start preparing it. Strengthen the president. Holy crap. Oh, my goodness. Help China. Help the Chinese. I love how fast this mod moves sometimes. It's really not bad. But at least we got stuff to do still. And I apologize for any sort of loud noise. There's a plane apparently flying overhead at the time of this recording. Very, actually very close to us. Holy crap. Anyways, my apologies. Strengthen the president. The plan administrative reform will considerably strengthen this president. Being able to reorganize the executive and hire additional staff. With a stronger president, more things will get done. I don't know why it's so loud outside. My, my apologies about that. Republic of Turkey? This coffee ain't too bad. I don't definitely don't have an addiction to coffee. Anyways. 
Um, addiction? Addict? Me? An addict? Huh. The only thing I'm addicted to is getting rid of minorities. Hmm. Independence Day celebration. If you want to buy that, please go ahead. Thank you very much. Natural gas. Air XP is not too bad. Um, that would not be bad, too. Will or Leah act? Yeah, let's do that one. Oh, wait. How much disability? It's only 2%, though. Infrastructure ain't bad. Social liberalism. Naval dockyards. Civvies. Go with that one, too. Reorganize the rank of the president. The plan administrative. Oh, look at that. Uh, for form, will considerably tie in the presidents. Being able to reorganize executive and hire additional staff with a strong president. More things to get done. I just read that one. The Brownton Committee. Get more stability, which would be good. The Brown Lown, Brown, Brown Lown Committee. Led by Louis Born Lown. The real name of the committee is the President's Committee on Administrative Management. The PCAM. Will guide us through the administrative reform process, suggesting further changes and helping us pass them. Alright. Well, let's see what happens. There's so many guns. We're doing okay on trucks, though. Pretty nice. Pretty okay with us. Go back and get some more support from the house. Or Senate, I mean. Or house, or whatever. We need support for both, so whatever. Anyway, more PP. We like the PP here. Uh, as much as we want to do that, let's go do the, this one first. Revise the uh, Neutrality Act. The state of the world won't allow us to continue neutrality policy. We have to pass the Neutrality Act. New Neutrality Act. Allow sell weapons of nations of war. Yes. Yes, please. Embargo Japan. We'll definitely do that soon, too. Oh, we'll go to, straight to war with them. War plan or Communic agreement. Cash and carry. Help the French. Maintain good neighbor policy. That's stuff on the right side can wait. And I completely ignore the military, as you can tell. I would like to build the Pentagon, though. That wouldn't be too bad. Expand the Air Force. Uh, Uranium Committee. Nice. Select his Training Act. Ooh. Second Vincent Act. Alright. Now look at that PP. There you go. 38. What else can we do? Better engineers? Might as well. We're really going to be digging in the ground. So then, I want to get through... Come on. Uh, midterms are approaching. If you're, uh, 38 midterms are approaching. If you want to read about that, please go right ahead. Fails a success of our administration. I'll have a big impact. Well, I mean, we're still pretty liked, right? I mean... We have 65% popularity, so we should do well, right? Also, it's completely random. If it's completely random, then that's BS. Well, maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just me. I just don't have a big enough industrial base yet, man. I gotta get out of undisturbed isolationism. I wanna send volunteers, man. Oh, 30% world tension, though. Reorganization Act? Oh, yeah, I'll do that one there. That's not bad. Time to collect all proposed administrative changes into one reorganization act so that we, so that we have to pass through Congress as soon as possible. Alright. Actually, uh... Yeah, we're gonna need... Hmm, cancer. The Neutrality Act. The Cash and Carry Focus. Uh... Agriculture adjustment. We gotta do that one. Let's get that one getting going. Good midterm election. Results are victory in the midterms. Yay! Up to ten senators, and fifty reps will support the government. Awesome. Good news. We managed to solidify our position in the House and the Senate, we're reserving our majority. In gubernatorial elections, we our losses in the Great Plains have been compensated with key wins like California. We can breathe now. Great. Protect the workers. Oh yes. The last major step of the New Deal should be ensuring that our economic recovery can be felt by the workers. We shall continue improving their rise, building from the National Labor Relations Act to pass the New Fair Labor Standards Act. There you go. House lobbying. Nice. Aeronautics. More air XP would be nice. Not really super needed though right now. Uh, naval doctors would be nice. Promote Dwight D. Eisenhower. Yes, please. Mm. I want to do the Reorganization Act first. Let's save our stuff for now. Oh, 15, 15, 6, and ain't too bad. So what? Oh, we have self racial segregation and a Great Depression. Not bad. Not bad. Just need so many more guns. It's so sad. I guess you guys could stop training as well. I mean, we do have a lot of naval army XP right now. If that's the case, just go and do this. Make these guys 40 combat with immediately. There you go. Something like that. Well, it's not done yet. But you, know, you know what I mean. Uh, 38. Oh, better radar would be nice. We do need another research slot, though. It's not. A, there's not enough for us here. You know, to get everything done in research. Oh boy. Just go ahead and get it mighty thick. Um, anything here really? I mean, not really. I want to wait. Yeah, I think it's best to wait for all the stuff. So now we must be really out of guns, huh? Oh yeah, and a lot of artillery. Protect the workers. Nice. So then, uh, fairly. Oh, well you can protect, protect the workers first. Oh crap. 
Well, can't the workers protect themselves? Oh, look at this reorganization. Act. Oh, yes, well active. Screw everything else. Heck yeah. Promote Omar Bradley. Yep. Nice. Got a lot of people support here. So now we get plus fifty percent. No. No. Reorganization Act. Huh? Racial segregation. Oh, so the, yeah, Reorganization Act is helping us out right now. Well, it's still active. How long does that last, though? Does that last forever? I don't know. I guess loans to private industries first. And, uh, I want to do the China one. I want to help the Chinese. Oh, we got to do cash and carry first, though, so. Yeah, now that we have more money, we can ensure the private sectors continue the economic recovery with some loans. Happy 39, everybody. Man, this is going by fast. By really fast, actually. Keep on building. Keep on trucking. I'm not seeing too many places with 80% infrastructure, so. Sorry, Southerners, your infrastructure sucks so much, uh, we ain't going to do that either. Uh, do we need any more resources besides Chromium? Not really, no. We're doing pretty okay. Another comment was, can we get the Black Legion into power? That'd be really cool. Oh, on the Black Legion is fascist. Actually, we probably can. If we went a historical, we probably could, honestly. But we'll see. And this one, we can mobilize the economy. I want to do that immediately. But I think I'm going to go first with Embargo Japan. Yeah. Japan has foolishly decided to antagonize us when most of the imports come from us. It's time to fully embargo them so they can starve. Uh, let's do Patch. I like Patch. Patch is cool. Let me uh, Oh, there you go. Nice. Now that's good. 15, 15, 15, some more. If that's the case, we're going to start making some millies then. So, three lines always on uh, civvies. And at least one line starting with the millies. Oh, uh, any more house support, looks like. What else is new? Not bad. Get some medium interwar tanks. Get some a lot more guns. A lot more of this. Get some interwar fighters. We need to do some uh, airplane research, which I completely neglected so far, which is really bad of me. But, oh well. Things happen, you know. Things happen. Just look how many guns we don't have, and artillery pieces, and poor equipment. Plans are doing okay-ish, not great. Huh. Antagonize Japan, I'd love to do that, but... Help the French out. It's 39, man. 39. We've got... Oh, Annex and Czechoslovakia. So, basically, for us, last episode we spent three years playing in this campaign. It's not bad, it's better than, unlike Vanilla. And in this episode, we've already hit three years, basically. Almost three years-ish. Ish, so... But begin to mobilize the economy. The world is preparing for war. And we should begin to do so as well. We can't be unprepared, can we? Of course we can. German demands mail land. Good luck, my mail boys. Good flipping luck. The aluminum, bauxite deposits. Yeah, we can wait for that. Oh, that goes Poland. Can I send you some stuff? No, alright. Polish Republic. I'd love to send you some volunteers. Actually, I'd love to send China some volunteers too, but whatever. I'll lend me some, some stuff, but we got nothing. Hey, it's Mr. Adolf. I need to play as Germany again in this mod. It was a lot of fun playing as Adolf Hitler. He's just a fun guy. Did you know Adolf Hitler is just a fun guy? Uh, up next, Express Industry is good. Uh, a little bit ahead of time. Uh, come over here, 38. Oh, I forgot some of this gun stuff. But then again, we're not at war, so it doesn't really matter as much. Artillery. Oh, yeah, I'll give that one right now. And we have more land auction, too. So after we mobilize, maintain the good neighbor policy. We could. The OCIAA. Network of the Americas. That's not bad. Uh, I do want to sanction Italy, though. Yeah, I'll probably sanction Italy next, just because we can. Probably a good idea. Lloyd Fredenhall. Hmm. We need to do this. Isolation's not bad. Get more war support. Better consumer goods. Civil aeronautics. Not really needed yet. Stability would be nice. But then again, infrastructure in various places could help us build things faster. So... There is that. Keep keep getting more house support for now. That'd be fun. Yeah, I can't wait. Build things faster. Get more consumer goods. More war support. More millies. Just good stuff all around. Yeah, they're not bad. Only minus twenty-four thousand. Is that all? And the great support is also very good. We're gonna keep going to land auction no matter what, though. Another carrier, nice. We have no, literally no carrier plans, which sucks, but whatever. Uh, since we're just going to do the Senate one too, because I want to get through all this stuff quickly. Oh, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. 
Thanks in Italy, yes. So now we're looking not too bad. Independence Day celebrations? Oh, yes, please. After this, let's do some military stuff. The American military. The world's getting more unstable each day and we can't be caught unprepared. Let, let's begin military preparations. And if that's the case, uh, I do want to build up more infrastructure, but it's not super extremely, extremely important. Uh, let's build up maybe a refinery, maybe? Maybe? So, we'll see what happens. 51, 208, we got a couple more days left. Sanction Italy, nice. Oh, the French out eventually, but whatever. Select a training act on your name committee. What do you want to do here? I want to do more army stuff. Construction 3 is nice. Grab some extraction because you can, even though we probably don't really need it. Uh, select a tr training act, probably. It's time to reactivate conscription to get to the U.S. or get the U.S. Army back in shape. We'll only have to convince oh, oh, uh, Congress to do Let's do it. Huh, good luck with that. Merchant Marine. Yeah, that's probably good to do next. Oh, maritime concession, nice. Our chief of naval operations, Fleet Admiral William D. Leahy, he's been replaced on the retirement list, so now it's time for us to pick a new CNO to replace him. Franklin Delano Roosevelt has decided that Admiral Harold R. Stark is the best man for the job. Let's see how it goes. Nice. A new chief of staff. Chief of staff, Malin Craig, has reached retirement age of 64, so his time's up. The president, however, has already has his replacement in mind, Brigadier General George C. Marshall, who currently serves as deputy chief of staff. His bravery challenged the president in a recent meeting, arguing that the plan proposed by him lacked forethought and was a bad idea, convinced the president, uh, FDR, to appoint him as Craig's successor. Let's hope he has the skills required for the job in turbulent times. It is time. Nice. Louisiana maneuvers? Oh, we need to pass the thing first. Uh, conducting large-scale maneuvers in war games, Louisiana will pull our army out of doctrinal decadence. It was installed and help us in our soldiers' training. No, I know we can't do that one quite yet, but give it a little bit of time, we'll, we'll be able to. Since we have the naval, naval XP, we won't always have enough naval XP, but it's probably good to do that one now. Naval commission. Uh, we will need some more house and senate support. That's not very good. Oh, hey, happy uh, World War II, everybody. Happy World War II. <laughs> Second Vincent Act. Second Vincent Act was a new bill introduced by Congressman Carl Vinston, chairman of the Naval Affairs Committee. If convinced Congress to pass this bill, we will be able to increase the Navy size in by 20%. Not bad. It's going to be just a continuous chug, trying to improve things here and there. So, uh, since we're here anyways, and this won't hurt us at all, just keep training because we need we want to max out that naval XP before war starts. So, uh, 61% only. God dang it! Hold out, Poland. Do your best, Poland boy. Polish your balls, do your best. Do your best, man. Because God knows we're not coming to come save you. <laughs> uh, we got enough percent support, but still. We love extra PP. Do Nation Act. Yeah, that'd be good. Uh, after that one, I do want to come back over here and start doing some more of this stuff. Because everything on the left side is now done and complete, which is awesome. I love it, love it, love it. Cash and carry, my friends. It's time to allow our nations at war to buy weapons from us and cash and carry bases. That way our economy will continue its recovery while we help righteous causes around the world. Gain a number of off-map cities proportional to the number of countries that accept. Buy guns from America? Well, I'm sorry guys, I'd love to sell you guns, but we are literally out 21,000 guns right now, so... Don't know how that's really going to work for you, but whatever. We're going to make it some medium tanks. We're going to get some more of these guys, too. We're going to get more of this. We're going to do, we're going to do real well. We're going to do real well. Where are we at? Uh, 53 is not bad. House supports 207 is not great. Second, Vincent Act. Uh, actually, how much support do we need to do a uh, two Ocean Navy Act, huh? Locks and Naval Tree, alright. Lend Lease Act, it's not bad, we definitely have to do that. Select a Service Act, go to Limited Conscription, which we do need to do. But we need a few more House boys, or women, or whoever they are. I'm little, about 11 more Senators. Oh, are you actually fighting down here? Oh. The Saab looking, huh? Well, Poland died fast. I thought Poland used to exist. Well, apparently not anymore. Thank you, Vincent Act, huh? Selective Training Act, yes, please. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Come again. Cash and carry. Lendlease Act. Yeah. The world is at war. Now that we've revised the Neutrality Act, we must pass another act that allows us to send equipment to other nations for free. Destroy for bases. Arsenal Democracy. I'd like to do that one. Actually, let's do this one first, just in case, because the French could probably use some help, because it's already November 1939. France seems to be concerned with the state of their aero forces. They can really use their help, and that, and that way they'll hold better against the Germans or Italian expansionists. Thank you. Uh, house support. Constantly, constantly more house support. God, I don't want to talk about the house anymore. <laughs> but at least we're making more millies. That, hey, 18,000, not bad. That's pretty good. Any more ships? Oh, yes, sir. Another carrier. Not not a great carrier, but it's a carrier. All right. Any more ship stuff? Actually, plane stuff. I completely neglected all the... Oh, my gosh. These planes suck. Woo, baby. 
Um, how's this China doing? Seventy-five percent roll attention now. Okay, so now we can send volunteers. I like that now. Finally, thank God. Don't send the tanks, huh? Um, Eisenhower, why not? Might, might not be too bad. Lloyd, uh, Patch. I know we don't have a lot of planes. They don't really have any air bases, do they? No, they don't. <laughs> I've known in basic training, huh? Uh, let me give this. We don't need a massive army. It's a good enough army. There we go. Four is good enough. All right, Senate lobbying. Yeah, we gotta get some naval. We got so much to do here. Holy crap! Actually, can we see volunteers as well? Oh yeah, we can. That's, that'd be good. Two more divisions. Why not? I don't want to say thanks because they'll just get pierced and it'll be a waste of a uh, waste of guys and stuff like that. So, so now we can send 93. Are we can even 93. Why is it 93? Oh, there goes those guys. I'm not sure how much conflict there actually is right here right now, but you never know. Actually, can I send volunteers to Finland as well? Should be able to, right? Two guys, too. Uh, that's fine. Only 93, huh? Alright, so you guys gotta go high. And where are you guys at? They're definitely gonna be striking Beijing eventually, so just kinda hang out there. Hope we don't die here. That'd really suck for us. So, anyone else? Promotions? Do I do I will promote you because that sounds pretty historical. There you go. Um, I'm not sure which one we want, so we'll, we'll save it for now. Yep, they're attacking us immediately. Cash and carry. Nice. Uh, help the French. I don't think these guys are gonna get hit too hard just yet, but. Okay, so they're attacking. They're attacking. Okay. Kind of hang out over here. Just kind of hang out. Just literally just hang out for now. Um, Senate. I don't want to do that. I want to do the U.S. Maritime Commission too. Oh, there you go. Led by Wayne Wright. And oh, we're Bradley. We don't have enough manpower for that right now. Good luck. Y'all gonna need it. They have a crap ton of planes. Holy smokes. French volunteers kind of hanging out, having a good old time. You guys just sort of hanging out by paying. Grand Battle Fleet, nice. Some more planes from here on out. Uh, dragons, uh, heavy aircraft, what is this? Bomber force needs protection. Yeah. Medium bombers. Yeah. Senate. Yeah. Hold on there, boys. Oh, no. Oh, oh there it was. Senate. White Pete's. That was fast. That was really fast. Happy 1940, though. Uh, oh, are you kidding me? Can I recall my volunteers? What? They're supposed to have a civil war right now? Can you guys actually, like, leave? Okay, so that's really scary. Get your butts over here right now. Okay, so you should be okay. You know what, just in case, I want you both to get down here. Get out, get out, get out! Oh boy. That ain't good. The French guys, you're probably all gonna die, but whatever. Help the French. Lenly Sack, yeah. The rules of war, I think I read this one, so we now have revised neutrality act. We must pass another act that allows us to send equipment to other nations for free. At least to them for now. Hatch, naval dockyards, to get more stability. You lose political power, though. Get more stability. I do like stability, though. Not with political power and whatnot. Still get 1.4 when we're not getting any more support, which is fine. Alright. Just in case, we'll hold on to these guys. Army. I 
Yep, all right then. God, these guys are moving fast into there. Holy crap. Now any more house support. <sighs> Always a house. Always causing problems. Are you kidding me? Bruh. Lin Yi? Destroy for bases? Uh, let's do this one. Maintain the good neighbor policy first. We gotta continue the good neighbor policy that we started on the last term. Keeping a friendly western hemisphere is the best guarantee to our security. Still building up? Nice, nice, nice. Um, actually, go right here. You can probably kill that division off if they can't kill it off themselves just yet. Oh. Well, they surrendered really fast. Makes sense. Oh, you got it. Nice. Good job, guys. Keep making stuff, keep making. And if we can, I'd love to get a civilian economy, but there's probably no way we can. Yeah, probably not. It doesn't appear to be so. Throw our bases. Yeah, good neighbor. Like a good neighbor, America might be there. Nice job. What is this? Loans to private industries? Okay. Destroy for bases, yeah. We should propose Britain an agreement. They need destroyers, we need naval bases. Let's exchange those then. And then go right there. Are their divisions really better than ours? Wow. It, has a, it does have decryption, but still. That's our 40 combo width. And again, we haven't really developed our, our land option that much, I suppose. Senate stuff, we'll definitely need that. Two ocean going navy. Alien registration. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, naval four bases. Well, good luck, guys. Seek a third term? As election approaches, Pre President Roosevelt must make a decision. While the convention set by well President Washington is now to serve more than two years, uh, two terms, the world situation is rapidly deteriorating, and Roosevelt might be the only man capable of leading the nation through these hard times. He's also popular. So he might win the re-election. However, he might set a dangerous precedence. What? I didn't, I didn't read what I read. Honestly, we might, let's do the house again. We got enough Senate support currently, but... Let's see. Alright, so how fast are they going to Blitzkrieg us? If they could hold them here, that'd be great, but I really doubt we could. Oh my goodness. Oh, no wonder you're not doing anything. You have this on. There you go. Now you're doing stuff. Scramble them a little bit better. Yeah, the front lines, boys. They got a lot of Belgian divisions. Doesn't mean they're any good, though. Oh, look at this. Nice. Uh, tuition nation going act would be nice. Lend lease act. Yeah, that'd probably be smart to do. Going with more house support for now. Store for bases. Uh, how, what do you do for our army stuff? Lessons, Louisiana maneuvers. Use speed. Use power. Yeah, probably use power. Good hospitals. Yeah, 90 divisions plan, huh? Well. I do want to do this one, but we can't do this one yet. Lend lease. Hmm. We'll get them all done eventually. So at least you're getting some experience now. That's nice. How about you guys? Doing okay here? Yeah, they're going to attack like crazy for a while. Uh, is this the naval bombers? Hopefully. How are we doing with this stuff? Ooh. The refinery's fine. Got enough rubber for now, so let's get another milli. Let's go two millis at a time now. Two millis and three lines of cities. That'll be good. God, I wish China would just stop attacking like crazy. Um, Omar Bradley would be nice. Keys out. We'll make you an infantry guy, pretty much. Be offensive, though. And get some more of that, too. You'll be fine. Hopefully. They, how many divisions are they attacking with? Oh, just 51, that's all. Wait, Zukov. What's Zukov doing over there? Zukov? What? Alright. Whatever. <laughs> Go figure. Well, that looks pretty good, too. 
Let's do Louisiana maneuvers first for a bonus of land auction, and then expand the Air Force. The Air Corps is getting more and more independent. We should fund a last Air Corps expansion before we decide how to organize the Air Force. Well, we'll figure it out eventually. Nice. That's good. That's getting a lot better. Well, still May, and France is holding out for now, but not for long. I'm not going to say it's because of our guys, but it's because of our guys. Because it, because they're American. It's because they're American. That's looking a lot better for the Death of Guns. Oh, you have like... Oh my goodness, bats. That's really bad. Is it really bad supply? Huh. Seems kind of odd. Well, you both have bad supply. Well, okay, how about we get out, go, go back home to France? Come home, boys. Homish. Nice. 13. Okay, let's go over to Yugoslavia. That's probably bad. That's actually not good for Germany. Oh, wait, Romania? What? Uh. Uh. Wait, do you not, do you not join historically? Why, why is everyone joining? Well, I wanted this historical. What the heck? I don't think I understand. I'm sorry. Uh. There you go. They're doing better. Now, they're doing the Axis, which is. Oh boy, that's not good. That's really not good. You have like no organization regain. Holy crap. Alright, well, this might be really fast World War II then. Holy crap. Um, yeah. I'll go to the Air Force next. And from the USAAF. The Air Corps shall be transformed into the United States Army Corps, given a more autonomy and capacity. However, doctrinal direction of the new USAAF is not very clear, which is fine. We know it is what it is. Um, two Ocean and Going Navy Act. Second Vincent Act. Cancer. We really don't have a lot of support here. Okay, so you guys came back on the line. That's fine. Mm, that's going to really hurt us up here, though, so. Uh, defend Lille. The southern portion should be fine. We got a lot of air uh, support now. It's nice. Uh, how are you guys doing over here? I'm going to join the Axis, which is fine. And we're losing. Bro, that sucks. Get right here right now. Don't lose the tile. Uh, keep going for more house stuff. Civil Aeronautics. From the USAAF. Should be nice. There you go. Make sure we don't lose here. There you go. Regimental combat teams. Breakthrough for the Tankerinos. Some more Millies. In Indiana now. Yeah, not bad. They are pushing slightly, 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 slightly. Germany, France is still going to fall, but... Wow. Kind of intense around here, ain't it? Democratic National Convention, Republican National Convention. DNC is held, being held in Chicago, and the delegates must choose a presidential candidate for the election. Who will take the nomination? Today, the Republican Party held their na National Convention in Philadelphia, where they chose their candidates for the upcoming presidential election. They nominated corporate, uh, a corporate executive, Wendell Wilkie, for the presidential race, with the uh, Senate Minority Leader Charles McNa McNary as his running mate. They formed quite a progressive ticket, with Wilkie pledging to keep many New Deal programs, expand Social Security, and support our current foreign policy for our strategy. He could be a serious competitor if he does a good campaign. It doesn't stand a chance. Well, honestly, if you're going to be exactly like FDR, then what's the point of voting for you, then? Trust Scott? VP nomination. We've chosen a presidential candidate for the election. Now I must pick his running mate. Quite some interesting options on the table. I don't know who it was at all. Wallace sounds like fun. Barons? Iowa? Indiana. Indiana. McNutt? I literally don't know. I literally just chose somebody. I don't know. We'll see what happens. All right. So probably do this again. Get more house stuff. Actually, we push ourselves a little higher. We have support from the Democrats, Social Democrats, Liberals, and Conservatives. Go up a little higher. Why not? Superior use superior firepower. Not bad. Support Rock Island. Independence Day celebrations. Democracy now. Democracy forever. Oh yeah. What are you guys doing? How are you beating these guys up? This is not how World War II was supposed to go. 
Um, and the Two Ocean Navy Act. Carl Vincent and Joel uh, Walsh, or L. Walsh, two Democrat leaders of the House and Senate Naval Committees, respectively, have introduced a new bill called the Two Ocean Navy Act. If it is the largest naval expansion bill in U.S. history, granting an increase of 70% if we manage to pass it. Nice. Very nice. Was not expecting Turkey to join the Allies that fast, or ever. Oh, look at that. Wow. Oh, okay, interesting. Huh. Well, it might be a short campaign here, especially if we all have Japan to kill off, so we'll see, but... Yeah, hmm, interesting. So where are we at with this stuff? So we're good on guns now. We're working on support equipment. Uh, still got two going at the same time, which is fine. We're going to join the Axe which will help them out, which is fine. We'll do that one next. Yeah, this is not historical. Senate. Oh, God, yeah, we need more support. Yeah, Germany cannot bust through. Is Germany normally do this week? Romania is slowly losing, as well as Yugoslavia. As well as Italy herself. Um, you guys are slowly losing, too. What are the casualties for this war like? Oh, that's a lot. Uh, uh, that's a lot, too. Wow. Uh, whoever loses more manpower first. Le Brun? Oh, they're already ex extensive. Then again, once Yugoslavia falls, then the rest of the Balkans will probably fall, so. Yeah. Hmm. They still have a Great Depression, though. That sucks. Alright, Congress lobbying. We'll go wait for that one. Uh, probably up next, we'll do use, use power. The way we'll achieve victory will be through a massive industrial capacity that allows us to mass produce artillery to destroy the enemies, enemies with minimal human losses. I would like to do some speed based stuff, but probably not for this campaign. Maybe we're going to play some Black Legion someday. Another comment, though, included uh, uh, Is this mod still being worked on? Uh, I'm going to say yes. I believe it is. Um, they've not had an update in a, quite a long time, unfortunately. But apparently, the Discord server is still very uh, active. So I think they're still working on it, but it's going to take some time. Like everything, it just takes time. So much, so much time. Another one was give yourself PP. If you have to cheat, give yourself political power. So generally, that's been the response that you guys usually give me. So I'm like, okay. I feel I still feel really bad about it, but okay. Why not? Ah, oh, we need so much already. Need so much, just so many things. Just so many things. Actually, how much political power do we get now? Point two. Nice. So after this aircraft, it is 1940. Holy crap. Um, 41, 40. I mean, more research speed would be really nice. Not gonna lie. We we'll at least get it started there. Promote Joseph Stillwell. Stillwell. Yeah. Nice. Just get the sand stuff done. He'll be good. And we'll be real good. Yeah, we'll use power next. And how's Europe looking? Uh, well, Yugoslavia is doing even slightly worse. Are we still trying to fight? Oh, no. We're actually defending here. Alright, use a little bit of power. Build up the Pentagon. Arsenal democracy. Oh, look at this. Yes. Yes. We should become the Arsenal democracy, providing weapons to anyone that fights against tyranny. Same ideology, production cap, lend lease, guaranteed commitment cost. To ally with Britain or France. Not, 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 just, not just one of them, but potentially both. Um, yeah, we are doing. Oh, yeah, the Dutch are. Oh, man. Yeah, France could still fall. This is going to be very, very costly for them, though. Especially when fighting Turkey as well. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Just don't lose down here, man. Get, get some stuff down there. That's nice. Get some, get some naval doctrine, too, so we'll be ready for war with the Japanese. Ah, oh, we need more house support. Or sand support, I should say. Arr. No, we're good still. Yeah, let's go 315 for those. Torino. Is that empty? Well, I mean... If you could take it, go ahead. You know, why not? Got plenty of guns. Plenty, 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 plenty of guns. Oh, we did take it. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, not bad. Even though 
It's not looking good over here, too. How's Africa looking? They should be able to swarm. Oh, they have swarmed. Holy crap. Wow. Send it time. Thank goodness. Still get 0.53. So after we use power, yeah, Arsenal Democracy would be really good to do. You never know what might happen, especially as we're pushing really fast in this, in this episode. Uh, what's over here? Presidential election, the big day is here, and Americans must choose who will lead the nation in the next four years. As the polling stations close and votes for Canada, clear winner emerges. FDR, once again. Again, really? Really? Yeah, yeah it happens. Or it happened. They even, oh my goodness, they already invaded Sicily completely. Holy crap. Holy crap. Yeah, but Belgium ain't doing so well. Oh, they just lost another tile. So after our some democracy, let's keep doing some amend relations with Mexico. Mexico has pushed recently for policies that antagonize many private interests of American citizens and companies. In order to befriend our southern neighbor, we have to do amend relations with them. We'll see. We shall see. And go up there too if you want to. But the French are just murdering their own manpower, aren't they? Yep, Germany's out of manpower now. I don't know. Maybe give a manpower buff or give him some sort of buff. That seems a little weak. Uh, yeah. I, I wish I didn't go like this, but whatever. You should be able to win there, right? You should at least be able to do that. And you force the attack, especially for that one guy. Don't get encircled here. Let the other division deal with it. Nice. French volunteers. Uh, if you go right there, you can encircle them all. I hope you know that. We got a lot of house support now. Wow. And well, go and kill off nine more divisions. All right then. Not bad. They've done really well against Yugoslavia, though. And Romania. Roma has Romania not died yet? Holy crap. Just, I want Romania to die. Oh, did they already give up Odessa? Oh, they already did give up B B Bessarabia. Okay. This is not looking good. Um, yeah. Huh. Alright, whatever. It is getting definitely laggier, though. I can definitely feel it. Hope you can feel it as well, though. Hmm. Come on, do more damage. Arsenal democracy, good neighbor fleet. In order to promote friendship between our peoples, we shall create a new passenger route between New York and Buenos Aires, which stops in Rio de Janeiro, Santos, and Montevideo. Yep, there goes three more divisions. Nice. Alright, two ocean going act, yeah. Military alliance with Great Britain. Alliance with the US? Oh, it's happy 41 though, but do we really want to do that one? Yeah. Uh, Eric's B, give more stability, I guess. Can't do France, because France has to be leader of the faction, so. Uh, need more house support. And men relations with Mexico, create the OCIAA. We need to change the way people perceive Latin Americans. To do that, we shall create the Office of the Coordinator of Inter American Affairs, led by Nelson Rockefeller. That will help gain support for the good neighbor policy at home and network of the Americas. To continue with the promotion of Latin American culture and society, the OCIAA has decided to create a radio broadcast called La Cadena de las Americas, network of the Americas, to better propagate the new ideas. Inauguration of. D of uh, Roosevelt. Today is a big day as we win the last presidential election. Franklin D. Roosevelt has been sworn in as president by Chief Justice uh, Charles Evans Hughes. He has been using this opportunity to deliver a speech to supporters congregate in D.C. where he outlined the main points of his agenda. Um, mm. Does that change anything here? Oh, oops. Maybe I should have canceled it. Oh, well, I guess we'll go do third term instead. FDR has managed to win a third term as president. The first man to accomplish such a thing in America's history, and now continues policies. Second Bill of Rights. A better union. Initiate warbound program. 
Uh, I don't know which one. Which, actually, go to war. War of Freedoms. That sounds like we should do that. Once we war, we'll gain this stuff. Towards the war economy. Coalition with the Progressive Republicans. The right to housing, right to health. I don't know. I want to wait before we do any of that stuff there. So let's go back and do this stuff. Why do we lose our icons? We actually made a division, huh? Go figure. Go on train. Cast would be nice. Get some better uh, stuff there, too. Happy 41, though. Oh boy, parts of Northern France have already fallen, maybe? Uh, no, not yet. Close, they're very close. Alright, so since we're here, do that stuff as well. Senate, might as well. So who's doing what down here? The Tizard mission. A British delegation by Henry Tizard has been petitioning us to provide uh, the UK with resources. They're learning out of resources for. Or to build their advanced technology, which they're running out of resources for. Hold on. Uh, well, in exchange, they offer the secrets of the new technologies if produced in mass quantities will give us a definitive edge against the enemies. The question is, shall we accept? Nope. 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 So it's 41. France hasn't fallen yet. Uh, I'm feeling we're going to have a really early death of Germany and, uh, the Italians once the USSR gets involved. Just saying, I have a good feeling that something like that's probably going to happen. Um, it's nice being an arsenal democracy, but still. But still. Anything else going to happen here yet? Actually, how's our planes doing? We actually have mixed air, huh? We don't have a lot of planes. My goodness, we need a lot of planes. Um, Bye. I don't know what to do with you, so. Alright. Well, yeah, since we're here, keep doing that stuff for now, I guess. How's China doing? Season Greenland? Henry Kaufman, the Danish envoy of the USA, has officially authorized uh, to occupy Greenland to construct military bases there. Although he has supported Greenland authorities, the Danish government of Copenhagen has protested this clear violation of diplomatic powers. Kaufman has already declared that he would not take orders from an occupied Copenhagen, so we're free to seize Greenland. So what should we do? Sweet. Cool. But I think I'm going to do a little bit more of this off screen as we do some of these other focuses. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below if you haven't already. Now, and get, you know, let me know your thoughts about how this this world is definitely not our World War II. But thanks for watching, and have a great, great, great rest of your day.